I think four picks makes make sense for you. I don't have a lot of experience with NASA support myself, so I cannot say how that's gonna go. I think your best pick would be Soraka, but that was banned four or five. I think as DRX you're happy. You got Aatrox. I think you're happy with Akali. I think you're happy with the counter pick bot. I'm sure about the Heimer synergy with Ash, but I know Ash is good into Kalista. In my opinion, Sejani jungle would be best, but that was banned as well. I don't know what what jungle you want to go with Akali Aatrox topside, but I feel like there's nothing that's great. So whatever you prefer, I guess. But it should be facilitating. Yeah, it shouldn't be carry. So I'm happy went to Vi. Feels a little bit more facilitating than carry. Kind of in the middle, right? I think it's somewhere in the middle with Vi. You can, you can farm. You can. You can carry, you can gank, you can do a lot of things with Vi, I think. Better than Lee Sin. Lee Sin is much more ganking, I think. I'm surprised he didn't go go cleanse on Ash or lethal tempo on Ash. It feels like he's fully committing to the early game with the heal and with the hail of blades and with the pick in itself as well. I think against Nasus you have to go cleanse, right? Because Wither is just gonna destroy you otherwise. If you can get in range to put it, that is. And I think Hail of Blades is just too bad of a rune right now. I personally don't like it so much anymore. You don't see it so much anymore after the durability changes. Because it's... It's, it's so... It's so hard to kill anyone in three autos now. The scaling of the rune doesn't... Like, yeah, there's no scaling on the rune now, I think. They're actually keeping push bot. I'm surprised it worked out this way. Then taking base makes sense from comp. I thought the DRX bot lane could just go there and stop the push the second they got back, but they actually never managed to recover. So then it was me being wrong. And comp doing the right thing. I mean, it wasn't a big deal anyway. But he actually managed to get some pressure from being first on the map, so... Could be getting flanked here by Kali, they have no idea. They have no idea, Kali's behind. And they got Herald as well. Mm. They didn't have info on Akali. I think they, they, sh they should know Akali's moving, that should be communicated. But I think they thought Akali is coming from the river, but Akali actually went behind them. But the next time I have a losing lane, I will try this, just to base. Like, make sure my base is first. Costs me a wave, but my base is first, and then see if I can push in the waves after. Here they could not, which is what I thought would happen the first time, but the first time they actually could. Monitoring is here. That's the wither, you have no cleanse, he's just dead. The Heimer Tower though. Heimer Tower? Oh, it's out of range! If he put the Heimer Tower better, that was actually a win, right? 2v3 win? TPing to Tower, yeah. Actually, if Heimer put Tower better there, that's win, right? His Tower was out of range. I think as Rogue, this is like a must. Your bot lane matchup is too hard. You have to gank bot. But I'm wondering if it's too late at this point. Because in my mind, if Heimer places his tower better, they actually win that. But this, but this is... Let's just watch this first. Yeah, he puts his tower poorly. If he has his tower in a better place... Or if Ash doesn't flash maybe and stays in the tower, that could be better. I played against Nasu support myself this year. One official game. Never in scrim. Oof. Yeah, no flash. But I actually had one game against Nasu this year. I don't think I had any soul queue or any scrims. But I won official against it. And I remember Nalkia, my... My positional coach, analyst, coach, whatever you want to call him. Uh, telling me that cleanse is a must against Nasus. And I can see why here. I think if he had cleanse, he would not be dead from Wither. But I think the second he gets Withered, he's dead. Not a big fan of giving Aatrox away myself. When you do leave stuff open in a draft, 
I think it makes sense to leave a lot of stuff open in the draft, especially when you're red side, because enemy can only take one thing, and you can take two. So the more things are open, the better for you, because they will take one, you take two, so it's a positive trade. But I feel like most teams, you saw it yesterday as well with the down one game, when they do give something really OP, let's say they do give the Yumi, or they do give the Aatrox, they ban everything else, so enemy is just getting it for free. In yesterday's down one game against GGG, the tiebreaker, that Aatrox was for nothing, right? Right? There was Aatrox for Aurelia, Maokai, Leblanc, Aphilios, and Leona. None of these are considered OP champs. But I'm pretty sure they banned OP champs. And I'm pretty sure they could have left some of them open and traded for the Aatrox. So I think if you do give, a, do want to give an OP champion, you should probably leave multiple of them open so you get some yourself. So they're trading mid tier 2 here and bot tier 2 for top tier 1. Maybe a kill on Akali. They're fighting top right now. Akali used ult 1 already. But he's out. So only got tier 1 top here. For Akali ult. I think best play is trying to go on Aatrox lane. I feel like Aatrox is easier to kill than Akali. Maybe not now when he has death stance, but before at least. This guy is hard to kill. He's alone though. No one is coming to help. Okay, TP now. This is 5v5. But the RX members are late, so best chance for Rogue probably. It doesn't get better than this. They're 5v3 for a while. Got one. Kali is low. Larsen misses ult. I guess he had no idea Kali was in stopwatch. He doesn't see Akali there, even when she is golden. So it makes sense to go for that. Does he have cleanse? Probably the best fight you can get. It was 5v3 for for a while. So if it was harder to kill them before, it is hard to kill them now. And this time it's going to be 5v5, so there's no chance for you. <laughs> 5v3 you had some chance. But 5v5, no chance. But I feel like bot lane matchup is too hard this game. They're just under tower the entire game. Maybe consider Soraka 3 instead of Jarvan would be the play. That way your bot lane matchup would be better. I have a hard time seeing what Nasus brings to the lane itself. I can see him being annoying, but I can't see him winning his lane here. But the Soraka could potentially contest this. So maybe Soraka on 3 here to match bot lane power, bot lane lane power. And skip the Jarvan. 